Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising monthly tarot reading for August 2018. So um, before we go to the spread guys, if you find it helpful and uh, that general reading of course and if you want to know more specifically about Lib Libra's career and relationship uh, you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading from my website which is written down below in the description of this video and uh, for just as little as one dollar and in that particular reading uh, which consists two spreads one for career and one for relationship so as we set that aside for this month I have chosen a seven card spread and uh, the first card that expresses up the carry on circumstances for Libra for the month of August this is going to be the judgment and then we do have the topic of the month itself that is going to be the eight of wands followed by uh, the uh, intentions or what you can aim for and get accomplished here seven of um, seven of wands followed up by the best possible approach toward the topic seven of swords it is what we do have the fifth card represents the attitude of the people which are involved in your situations towards you. That will be the Tree of Pentacles, very positive card. Now this mod is going to be quite of a breakthrough for what I can see here from these cards. Then we do have the challenges to be overcome here, Six of, uh, six of Cups. And the last one represents the uh, final outcome of the month here which is the seven of uh, pentacles first thing uh, that came to my mind to my mind here we have a lot of seven that repeats and seven is the number of wisdom seven, seven is the number of seeking and information seven is a number of being clever and exactly what you have to be during that month because this month for what it seems is going to be you overcoming a certain predicament opposition most likely and in general obstacles to have your life better and to have your life improved in a big way so something happened in the month of July here we do have the judgment card so something very big for you if um, kind of like emerged as these are carry on circumstances you know that could be you know the job you wanted that could be the interview you have been assigned to you know that could be anything in general but uh, July presented you with a wake up call with um, a call of the universe which you have to definitely follow now the judgment card sometimes when it takes place sometimes we don't give enough appreciation of whatever is emerging for us and we are me see uh, we are kind of like looking at it as something meaningless for example that could be a person you have get to know with all right and without you even knowing it you're that person um, will be your next husband for example or will be someone who is supporting you further into the future the bottom line here is guys that something big happened to uh, in July alright and that will kind of like have a, a positive outlook and it will has its positive influence upon you for the month of August most likely that will be a, a support through development as we can see here with the three of pentacles so it does look like that um, after all is um, it, it is involving people around you but in the grand scheme of things uh, that card that card here points the very least that you finally have the uh, key to resolve a, a major issues in your life and this is why we do have the eight of wands as a topic of the month guys the ace of wands is one of the uh, best cards for what i can say for uh, growth and for improvement because the eight because the eight of wands says that in in august there will be so many opportunities coming in your way this is what the card represents in general there are so many uh, as i said opportunities coming with the flow of events towards you but the thing with the eight of wands is that these opportunities will not hang on for you all right you have to be very swift to take them and of course you may choose not to take them but the bottom line here is is that the opportunities flies by and goes with the flow if not seized and catch so you have to be very agile and clever as i said 
to take to make use and take advantage of the majority of those opportunities so also that is associated of course with some pleasant surprises that you may face along the way and this card especially career orientated represents the uh, <clears throat> the kind of like the slight of mind all right so you have to be very slight with your mind and being able to immediately structure a, a specific strategy how to take use of those kind of opportunities and the best thing you can do here during the month we have the eight of wands as I said overcoming opposition and predicaments this is the seven of wands guys you got to kind of like uh, uh, bruise your influence upon the people which are causing you setbacks upon uh, the situations as well so for example let's say that you know that you deserve promotion you know that you deserve payment all right uh, but your boss never raises the question here it is you who needs to raise the question with the seven of wands this card represents as well you know the ability to kind of overcome influence that is trying to infiltrate your surrounding either that could be the jealous co-worker into your career or it could be the third party trying to seduce your partner in your relationship that card could says that you can expose that all right and you can fully slumber the the, the opposition you can tackle with it and um in generally you can totally destroy that particular opposition seven of swords as the best possible approach here toward the situation is to follow your personal agenda and whoever supports you there that's good whoever doesn't that is even better so it doesn't it does look like that this month you will know who who are who is your friend and who is your enemy in general the seven of swords points that you should not give up so easily from your aims and, and from your goals but if the uh, if the matter requires storm then storm it is what you need to give to it so you have to kind of like have a strong spine stro storm your situation and stand for your personal rights you should not allow anybody to kind of like um, you know put you into a, a down head situation but for what it seems if you are a strong person with strong presence and, do, and you don't allow people to screw with you then for what it seems from these cards you will always have the upper hand into the matters that you are involved in three of pentacles is the people that are supporting you this speaks the support through development so probably you have a mentor or someone who as i said you recently met here all right which is going to give you an unconditional support through your development either career wise or relationship wise that could be a family member as well so do not be afraid guys to kind of like uh, share your intentions to share your um your aims as well as you will be surprised how many people are ready to jump for you into the fire and to help you out with them not to mention that this card points that these people will not be afraid to cooperate with you so in a sense that you will receive from emo also uh, apart from the emotional help also a um a physical help all right so material help as well and uh, uh but this card also associates a, a very honest com is associated with very honest conversation so if someone thinks that you are doing wrong uh, that you are doing wrong or kind of like you are uh, your approach is not correct they will tell it to you straight away and it, they will not try to sugarcoat it and it, you liberals are a little bit touchy to criticism for what i know you know because i have dealt with several liberals but um you know this this criticism will be very constructive uh, in a sense of that uh, with uh, the criticism itself these people will tell you you know what they think and how you can traverse the situation in your own personal benefit so it's not going to be entirely um, uh, entirely fruitless and futile uh, those kind of conversations and those kind of uh, cooperations as well <clears throat> all right so that will be a, a very good month for you if you are feeling baffled about your career or about your relationship to lean on on the very faithful companions that you do have in your life then we do have the six of cups which comes to the challenges to be overcome and in that particular case that is all about you know the pleasant the, the pleasure of you uh how can i place it you examine those opportunities coming in your way <clears throat> so for example 
there is a, a very good opportunity for you to start a new job very well paid which is going to solve all your problems the but the uh the thing here with the six of cups co coming as a challenge is that you may find it not very enthralling all right so it's not going to be something that you have imagined for yourself or in general the, the very start of it may seem a little bit boring for you it's all about that guys being uh being more creative and being more uh let's say uh, and and having these activities more enjoyable than they are so um <clears throat> but you uh, but you libras can totally kind of like cope with those things without any problems cuz this cuz the 6 of cups in general is a very uh easy card to overcome all right it, uh, the only thing you need to do here is to focus on the end goals instead of the small obstacles that are sitting along the way every kind of uh, mm, aim and goal has its obstacles all right and um, nothing is covered with red carpets and, and roses in our lives and in order for us to improve we have to overcome challenges luckily for you Libras these challenges are gonna be very petite small and uh, you will be able to overcome them just by being tenacious <coughs> regarding uh, the goal that you have placed in front of yourself then we go to the final card which is the um, final outcome here we have the seven of pentacles and uh, at the end of the month for what it seems you will be a little bit more um, passive and that will be due to the uh, do the attraction of those kind of new opportunities so this is where you sit and you wonder what you will do with them and what and which one of them how much benefits you are go you are gonna have from that particular opportunity seven of pentacles is a card pointing that you have to take it easy all right because now is the time at the end of august will be the time where you have to carefully determine how much how much uh, resources you're going to invest into a certain relationship into a certain career you know or a friendship if you want to say it that way as well and how much you are going to gain from it in return all right so very important here at the end of the month as i said you will know who are your friends who are your enemies and which uh, agenda which aim will be beneficial for you and uh, it is where you have to now start you need to start creating your strategy how much you know investments you're going to give in um, as a time as a money you know as an effort etc etc for how much you're going to pull out you know this card says that generosity is unacceptable you know you have to give just as much as you're going to get in return other way around it is as i said unacceptable so that being said guys this was your monthly tarot reading for Ju for August, excuse me, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And if you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.